before, you're most welcome to Zuma Falls. I'm Francis, my name. This is one of our culture sites in Uganda, and behind the Zuma Falls, there is a legend which is said that Zuma was a twin bull river. That was, this one was called Waswa, but later it was named the Zuma Falls because it was flowing. During that time, when from the waterfalls, that's what was called the Zuma Falls, man, but you can't block its way. But up now, this is a healing center for Kamiya for like traditional rituals. In the 1884, Sekaba Kamwanga is the king of Uganda. You could come and do some rituals, like a from here. And the many, up to now, this place is used as a healing center and as well as a, a recreational center. Is uh, people come here for to do picnics, or come here to do bird watching activity, they come here to do hiking, do uh, forest walks, there is camping and, and other activities. Also, I have some tree plant species around, like the Punas Africana, which is good for cancer. It can pull cancer problems. I have like the Wambugia Igandanensis, the African flame tulip tree. All of those trees are medicinal trees to our, at our, our country and uh, to our day to day life living. But up now, when you come to Sezibwa, there are some activities which, you, if you want, you may be involved in. One is bird watching, second is nature guide work, have the cultural work. We have the hiking activity and also camping activities. Some people come here to do like geographical studies because this is a very good geographical place with uh, waterfalls, you have plunge pools, have a cliff and the other stuff of things. Mainly here, this is a special place both religiously and culturally because up here we have a church, people come here for praying. We have uh, camps on the other side. We have also the meditation center around the island. There's what we call med meditation island. So people come here to do different activities within this place. Among the birds we have, we have the great blue charcoals, the eastern great Latin eaters, we have the forgotten drongo, and then other birds. Primates, we can talk about some also some animals, like uh, leopards, bushbirds and uh, monkeys so it's also found in this forest this part of the protected foreign forest around here and they have also the artificial first with the eucalyptus forest have some animals up there where they do hiking like the underworks the smaller ones they do fishing that's an activity also down there we have some activity some fishes more fish like mud fish more severed fish and the others so as far as Sezibwa is concerned that's all about Sezibwa historical and geographically. Thank you. Uh, so as you can see for yourself, uh, a lot of people are taking pictures uh, it has very cool scenery where you can take very good pictures. Uh, this is where we are going. So you can see for yourself there are many people squatting here. Uh, serious photographers are here, taking cover. Others are there, chilling, smiling. Be careful that side. So as you can see, this place is really beautiful. Just open up. It has already been a nice night. Uh, the weather was so cold. It's even cold right now. Uh, it's even drizzling a bit. Uh, the majorly what I like about this place is the coldness, uh, the sound of the water in the morning when it's uh, 
drawer in your ears to make you even sleep more. I came yesterday with some few, few colleagues and uh, for sure the experience is really something that is you cannot take for granted. It's something which is so unique, it's so nice. My first time trying uh, camping outside. We camp here, we had to uh, have some fun, chilling around, uh, chatting, discussing, uh, and so many things. So that's it for now. I'm going to get my tea. And so see you. Ciao. Yeah, get me also like two. And just mix the some blue bun and we're good to go. I didn't even tell you how much I'm going to mix my tea. Mm -hmm. That's my last one. Okay. Oh, I'll give you this one also. Yep, me too, I want that. That's fine. So I, I leave this one, eh? Yeah. Good morning, Nabs. So tell me about uh, your breakfast. Mm, they given us beef katoko, beef and matoka. It's really nice. Well done. It's warm, good for the cold weather. And some tea. Yeah. How was your night? Um, I barely slept because of the loud music, but um, not bad. Not bad. The sound of the water. Amazing. Actually, so when I woke up, I thought it was raining. Then I have to remember, oh, we can play the phone. Okay. Yeah. Alright, enjoy your tea. Thank you. Okay.